Alright everybody, welcome back to a lot of explosions. Also, Kremiel's adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. If you're wondering, we already got a, another adventure, separate from this, but also with Kremiel, just without the horns, <laughs> in Dragon's Dogma 2. Yes, uh, by the time of this video, that one video for the start of Kremiel's adventure in Dragon's Dogma 2 is basically already uploaded. Um, it kind of continues off of the first tower first impression that I've done where I've actually switched saves <laughs> so yeah go watch that if you if you feel like watching Dragon's Dogma 2 that said we are in the Underdark and last time we blew something up over there <clears throat> again as per usual I'm gonna be drinking my coffee because it's 8 30 a.m. I literally just got home Alright, <clears throat> so I don't actually recall what we did here because it's been well, a full weekend for me since I've played the game, but we can't go that way because we don't really have anything to blow the toxic spores? Question mark? I don't recall. Anyway, that shit's perma blown up, so let's not go there. I don't want to die randomly. What is that? There's just some random are those metallic cables or are those ropes i think those are metallic cables that's actually kind of weird do they use metal well excuse that i think you just heard my mom sneeze uh not sneeze oh, was that a actually that's a sneeze never mind yeah that was really loud all right where do we go? I kind of want to go down there, but at the same time, I can't really go down there all that easily because now I can't teleport. Because if I teleport my party, I'm going to be teleporting the people outside. Again, we have split the party. We got Astarion with uh, Karlak and Will following Lazel to the Githyanki crash. And then Shadowheart and Gale, which by the way is also in the Dragon's Dogma playthrough. Because I did kind of make Gale as a main pawn. I got a special one incoming soon. It's from the MCU universe, actually. <laughs> I'll let you know. Alright. Oh, that's for Dragon Dogma 2, though. For right now, we gotta figure out how to get there. Because Gale can't teleport our asses, and Shadowheart can't really follow. I could teleport Kremiel down there with Shadow Meld, but I'm not gonna do that. So I think I just go back up. <clears throat> I gotta go. Oh yeah, we beat this guy. <laughs> the Beholder, yes. Alright, can you jump all the way over there? You should be able to. Can they though? Oh, they don't need to. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't recall how I got here. I'm not gonna lie. I think I came through the window. I. It's hard when I can't teleport. Okay, I gotta play normally. I haven't played normally in a while. Bear with me. <laughs> it's been a good minute. What is? going on down there oh i may die okay i'm not gonna do that i may die i don't think it goes any lower than the underdark the map that is that said i may be wrong so do let me know if i'm wrong oh those explode now swarming toadstools i don't recall uh, we did find a sword similar to Excalibur here. Gotta go down. Or do we go up? Let's go up first. I feel like going up is much easier. For now, anyway. We did come through here where we beat those two minotaurs. Yeah, that glowing bulb's gonna blow up. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse my, my throat. <clears> think <throat> like I might have caught on a cold again. It's kind of... Kind of real cold today. We went from... Known to cause confusion. 
best not get too close. Okay, thanks for the information, Gail. We kind of went from 14 to 15 degrees, uh, rather 12 to 13, actually, to 2. <laughs> so yeah, it's real cold outside today, for whatever reason. I, I still got this condition. I just got my colors fixed, so I may have to adjust the brightness a little bit on my main screen, which is probably gonna affect... Um, you know what, let's not do that. I feel like it's okay. Um, I don't recall what Dimask Sport does, so let's get out of this one. <clears throat> okay, we seem to have some stairs here, some steps. Ah, oh, well, that, that's... That rope netting kind of looks like it, it could be trapped, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, burlap sack, rogue's morsel. We do need to start kind of cooking some potions or something at some point in time. <clears throat> We may need them later. That's all I'm saying. Um, let's see if this blows up. I may regret life. Okay, it doesn't. It's just for light. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna... Sure. Let's see. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Sure, okay. Can I jump on these rooms? Um, apparently not. Alright. Alright. Oh, I don't really wanna... Shadowheart going straight for the... Mother Yucker, is your AI coded to run into the trap? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Can I... Okay, there's... Please... Bro, you were not even in it yet. What the fuck was that? I cannot take much more. Yeah. Okay, I did... Use this last time, and if I recall, I kinda have to switch it out. Because I don't know... I don't know how to use it. I may need a Restore Vitality spell that's separate from this one. And I do not know how... I do, I do not have it. Uh, I do not have it. So I need to remove. That said, what do I get instead of that? Hmm. Create food or water is interesting. Because that would mean I don't technically need to... Let's see. I can't heal Kremiel or Gale because they're now considered undead. Life transference, however, may work. I'm not completely sure, though. Is remove undead considered a... Um, not remove undead, import undeath. Is that considered a curse? Because I could remove it. If that's considered a curse. Hmm. I'm gonna assume it's not a curse, though. But we could check. We'll see. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at? On there. Yeah, this is not considered a curse. At least it doesn't specify that. It, if it's not stated here, I'm gonna assume it's not a curse. All right. So, back to Shadow Horde. We need to figure out what we take as our last ability because... Warden of Vitality is not it. Do I take water walk? Will that be useful? I think I just take prayer of uh, healing. Because... You know, Beacon of Hope is okay. Do I want to use... Let's see, it's a level 3 spell slot. It could be huge. I just kind of need to use Sanctuary with it. I need a different type of build for that. 
That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Because for this, I feel like I just need to kind of make my build entirely around this and... <coughs> bless you. That's my wifey. Uh, just, I, I kind of need to remove Spirit Guardians if I want to use this and Sanctuary. Because if I use Sanctuary with Spirit Guardian, it, technically I'm the one dealing the damage with the Spirits. So it's gonna end Sanctuary, I am assuming. I'm pretty sure. Either that or it's gonna make Sanctuary last a single turn instead of 10, which is kinda cringe. That said, I could make Shadowheart a full healer, but she's also the main tank, kinda. Instead of, well, Kremiel. But she's the only one that can heal. So it's kind of weird, because I don't have Karlak with me. She's the one that self-heals permanently, if you recall. Um, let's see. I don't think water walking is any good, actually. Do I just take Animate Undead? Let's see, I have no level 3 spell slots right now. So taking that with me is kind of sad. I think I just take Prayer of Healing and, well, heal my HP. As in right now. I got two level twos. You know what I need? I need to make Shadow Heart a wizard. You know why? Let me show you why. It's called Arcane Recovery. And I'm pretty sure this is something all wizard classes have. What am I to do? I need that so I can just recover some spell slots, bro. Like, I'm, I'm serious. It's kind of sad how I can't use anything most of the time because I need spell slots. Okay, where is Kremiel? Oh, she's right there. Alright. Well, prayer of healing it is. Uh, no effect on that. Never mind. Never mind. Time to switch again. You know, maybe the Valkyrana in part on that was not the play. I don't know how to heal them now. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think I can heal them. Let's see. Uh, weaponized necromancy. Hmm. Okay. That's not it. Is life transference the only way to heal? Does that even work? It doesn't say that it uh, doesn't work on Undead. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> Wait, it, it said something about Downed. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't care about that. How do I... How do you heal Undead people? Uh, that is something I desperately need to figure out at this point. How do you heal... Undead people. <laughs> I don't seem to have anything that can actually heal undead other than, well, maybe life transference. Which I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna work or not. Is Gale gonna be the only healer with catnap? Oof. Uh, may just be it. It may just be it. I, I think I just take animate undead. Um, I could take Revify, because they can only revive if they're not in combat, even though they're undead. Yeah, I think... Ah, <sighs> it's kind of weird. I kind of did this to myself though, but it's fine. I, I could take motivational speech and just give them five temp hit points, but at the same time, does that work with aid? Um, aid heals, I think, the undead people. I'm not completely sure, though. I could try it out right now. Will using aid remove the aid from these, though? Ah... I don't know.
This is nice. I can destroy undead when turning them. What do I take as my last spell? I don't really... A beacon of hope is not good here. Because I can't heal them, so it's it's sad. Um, animate dead? I could take that. You know what? I'll take animate dead and see how it goes. Even though I... I... Uh, let's see. No, I don't need supplies, bro. I'm a thousand in... I'm a thousand deep in supplies. I don't need that. No. Alright, we're taking animate undead. And I technically can't heal anybody. So, I accidentally click Stadion again. Not sure why. Okay. I think... I think we have no way of going up, is what I think. Actually. Actually. Ew. Um... Well, we got some spores over here. Storehouse? What are we doing? What are we storing? Oh yeah, we get we got these. I forgot about them. I actually forgot about them. We got those from... Uh, if you haven't seen last episode, well, you should probably go check that out. We got these from the Beholder, which was lying dead somewhere in the back. Okay. Do I really want to go here? Will this affect me somehow? It doesn't seem like it might. Hey, if you're wondering how I'm attacking like this, I just press control. If you hold control, you can attack like this. Where am I, brother? I don't recall ever being here through... Well... That entrance. Okay, Gale. Where is your knock? Uh, can Gale restore spell slots to anyone else? Question mark? No, I don't think I can do that. Well, that's annoying. Arcade recovery is something that I would expect to be also useful or on others. So you only have one of these, if you know what I mean. But, there is work to do. as it stands, I have no need for Arcane Recovery on Gale, which is kind of kind of weird. Did Gale not open this? Hello? That is a knock. Knock the lock, brother. What are you doing? Okay. Have wished to live in I am so used to having Kremiel up top. Okay, that sounds a little bit weird, but... Asterion is up there now. More supplies. I will take those. I may need them. You never know. See, this is why I don't take the fucking wood creation. Uh, food creation. Not wood creation. A who? A what? A Zentarim? What is that? This is the first time I hear about this. Bear in mind, I've been mostly playing in uh, Underdark. Is it Underdark? Yeah. So I've, I've mostly played here in my original playthrough, before I started making this series. Uh, which is kind of weird because I've never seen this symbol. I may have never been here. This place is kind of big, okay? Like, yeah. Okay, that's another one I gotta knock. Another lock you gotta knock. Bro, open the fucking lock, Gale. Thank you. Another bomb. I will take those, actually. Looking ahead. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to go to the... to the Adamantine Forge. If you recall, we found about that in the last video. Uh, if you haven't seen the last video, well, you should check that out. Because I know a lot of people that have come over to the channel recently and have checked the videos. Oh. Y'all kind of... y'all kind of skipping the episodes, I'm not gonna lie. I do see the stats. <laughs> don't skip. You don't know the story if you skip. We're kind of running a different type of story here than the original Baldur's Gate. Okay. Uh, also, if you're wondering, um, yes, I have kept up with the news on Baldur's Gate. 
Uh, fun fact. Sven, the... Uh, I think he's the CEO of Larian. I may be wrong. Oh my god, what the f What the f What is this? There is a perverse pleasure in pain. It stretches your senses with its intensity making you feel alive. You're starting to appreciate it. I am ready for a remodeled frame foundation. I'm sorry, have I turned into a Chinese cultivator? That is a sadomasochist. What? What? <laughs> can I... Can I see what... Hmm. So... Your body is starting to change in subtle ways, your muscles soften and your flesh feels fuller in certain places. You receive strength minus one and charisma plus one. You'll find it easier to walk in heels. Wait, this... What? I'm sorry, what now? Where am I strength at now? Oh, I lost one strength. Okay, that's kind of cringe. Now I really need to respec. Because I just lost one of my current main stats because of the frame. Oh my god, that's so cringe, bro. So here's the thing. I have the Oathbreaker, uh, the Oath Tenets. Which means I can't respec unless I pay a thousand gold to... What's his face? I forgot the name, the skeleton in camp. I forgot his name because I've only used him like four to five times. Early in the series. And we're like 30 hours deep at this point, possibly. But I can't respec, and since I'm kind of a paladin class, I am I should be using charisma. Uh, I'm not sure why my wisdom is being named as a main stats because I don't seem to have anything that is using wisdom at all. Actually, I do have this, which is a wisdom save, apparently. But as, as far as I recall, the wisdom saves are for them, not for, well, me. My main is Charisma, but I'm using melee because I can't respec, and since my, my strength went down by one, that is really bad. Because now my strength is 17 instead of 18, which means I'm losing one saving throw, and I'm also losing one strength check. And I, I still don't get the extra point in Charisma for, well, having 10, because I only have 9. So I don't have 4 saving throws, and I don't have 0 to Charisma checks, instead I have the minus 1, which is kind of cringe. That's why I'm saying it's really bad. Okay, a little bit of explanation into why I... That's really bad, actually. Because I can't make use of it, and it's literally just... Cucked my stats. It's fine. I think... I think all the benefits of the... I'm just gonna call this the bondage suit. Okay, all the... All the benefits of this random-ass bondage suit we found... And the Leviathan Claws, which is basically just bondage heals at this point. Is this an elevator? It is. I'm sorry, why can't I use this? I'm confused. Can I please look up? What? Why can't I use this? Why doesn't it work? I'm confused. Anyway. What's in this barrel? Anything good? Five potatoes. I'll take it. Well, I guess we're going back. So, yeah. I think the benefits from these items heavily outweigh the, the minus one strength. Because I, I kind of do need an... I kind of do need to tank with Kremiel because I don't have a choice much of the time. So, yeah, there is that. Now... The question is, what am I doing here? I, I think I came through there. So let's go this way now. Seeing a lot of this symbol. Uh, what's... Z Zenitar? What? Uh, Zentarim. <laughs> Zenitar. Okay, I'm getting a lot of minerals. Can I... Should I? Nope. That's a heavy no-no. That's a hook, we can't do anything there. Can I do anything around here? I don't think I can do anything here, actually. So I just came to this place, 
And I literally can't do anything here. Well, okay then. We're going back down, I guess. Yeah, this is a place where I've never actually been. Because um, when I... Well, the first time I blew these traps up and uh, this ladder along with him, um, I didn't check if I could jump on the shrooms, okay? Or if I could climb here. I just ignored it. <laughs> I didn't ignore it uh, this time. So, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I have ignored in my original playthrough, which I still do not know about. Okay, where do I want to go? Well, oh my god, what the f- hello? Okay, we're gone crazy. We are befuddled. Jesus, stop, bro. <laughs> Random Harlequin laugh. Okay. Alright, I think we're going down. Yeah, I got... Oh, that's a damn mole. Or a worm. We in Dooms all, all of a sudden. I have not seen the Dooms movie. I know there is a new one, I think. Heard uh, a lot of people talking about it, I just... Ooh, I just never actually took the time to watch the movie. Alright, we gotta blow them up. No, 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 why are you suddenly moving forward? Hold up. Hold the phone. Okay, will this pass? Yes. Gotta drink my coffee while I, while I clear these. Or do I want to go on the left or to the right? Oh, we got the the myconids, the mushroom people, kinda. Might as well talk to these since I'm here. Oh, I gotta move this. Hold up. Did I move it like th no? The, there's the map. We got the frames up there, but it's fine. Oh, you can still see the frames. Nice. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Oh yeah, if you guys are wondering, uh, I did actually upload my reshade. So you'll find the link to that in the description down below as well. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Are you threatening me though? Hello? I'll see now. Now here's the thing. <clears throat> if I recall, if I split my party like this, um, the others should not be affected. But at the same time, will they be affected? Because I do not 100% recall. I got Oldbreaker. Um, sure, I, I got no purpose, I'm, I, I just am. Fungal roots <laughs> weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me, let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward, the Sovereign expects you. Oh yeah, I did start a talk on Baldur's Gate news. So apparently, well, obviously most of you already know we are not getting a Baldur's Gate 4. We are not getting any actual paid DLC. But Sven, the, I think he's the CEO of Larian. I don't exactly know his position. Well, he owns Larian, that I know. <laughs> so CEO, I guess. Uh, anyway... He has stated that we will be getting some content for the game. Uh, Gale's feeling bad again. I'm gonna gonna feed him an artifact. Uh, potions still work, right? Yeah, they do. All right, I gotta do this real quick. Hold up. Okay, so uh, he's making an evil playthrough, or rather. Multiple evil endings. Well, guess what we are? Yup, we are an old breaker. We are, fallen, we are a fallen angel, which technically means we're kind of, well, bad? 
but at the same time this playthrough right now because they're the if I if I am a uh, if I'm remembering this correctly, the current version of the game does not have any actual, well, good, evil endings, if you know what I mean. They're, they're all kind of bad. So, we're kind of playing neutral, and since we are an Oathbreaker, we are kind of playing to, well, basically redeem ourselves. So, I'm assuming we are still heading for a good ending, question mark? We'll see how this plays out, okay? I'm just letting you guys know. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Because we are technically playing to... Um, well, get rid of the Oathbreaker. So we can actually respec. So, yeah. Okay, what do I want to give Gale? You can... You can suck on this. Well, might as well. Thank you. That's a garbage item with no no bonuses, no extras. Might as well just give him that. So many minds connected. What could they accomplish? God damn. God. It feels so good having actual decent colors on my main on my main screen now. <laughs> you guys wouldn't know because you're seeing You're seeing the colors that I'm seeing on my second monitor in the video. My main screen does not look like that. My main screen look look used to look really bad compared to this, actually. Like my blacks were really bright. They were kinda grayish actually. And now that I have decent colors, I'm just It's a different kind of game. Let's see. Uh I mean we do trust Gale. I appreciate it greatly, but I can no longer keep you in the dark. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. Ah. In time, she became my muse. Gail the Chad. And later, even my lover. Motherfucker, fuck the god, bro. <laughs> okay, we're doing the option number two. I am, after all, the villain of the tale. Meaning Wait, really? Each other's company. Wasn't Gail good? Mind and soul. Confusion. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Ah, so you're a greedy motherfucker. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. So here's my understanding from what he's saying. Motherfucker, fuck the god. Or God is rather. And that was apparently not enough for him. He wanted more power. So first of all, he fucked the gods for power? Question mark? And then he wanted more power? What? <laughs> okay. Um You thought you knew better than Mistra? Uh actually let's go with number three. <laughs> so not I think my methods. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. Yo. Yeah. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Bro, bro. Grandpa wasn't, wasn't satisfied with the Gadusi. Jesus. Uh, I'm intrigued, tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. 
I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. Yo, you an emperor? That was unleashed that day was Wait, is Gil royalty? Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned she restored the weave reuniting all its scattered shards or so I thought until in the course of my studies I learned of a book a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach what if I thought what if after all this time i could return this lost part of herself to the goddess <clears throat> well i already know the name of this episode the godusi incident <laughs> oh my god what is bro what is up with gail's head um Yeah, sure. Let's go with option number three. I certainly thought so. <clears throat> Sometimes there is great strength to be found in symbolism. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Okay. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Oh wait, is this the book we opened? Only a swirling mass of blackest weave that Oh shit. It's teeth, it's claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes... oh, So this is why Gil didn't like us opening that book. Oh shit. Okay, this makes a lot of sense now. Wait. It, am I understanding this correctly? <laughs> This may just be Gale's magic now, by the way. And not actually about that one book. How are you still alive? Okay, so this wasn't about the book. It was about the fragment he absorbed. Okay. I really thought, because this was very similar to that one book we opened. And I thought he was talking about that. This orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Mm, you will die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. Motherfucker of volcano. The exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. It'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Bro, scratch a volcano, motherfucker, a nuke. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um. Alright. Time to go into the Oathbreaker Paladin stuff. Uh, by rights, I... I should kill you. Perhaps that is what I deserve. <laughs> but you deserve no such thing. To kill me is to unleash the orb. Ah, not good. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. A little. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Nah, you're fine. You're my main damage dealer. What do you mean? <laughs> I would hear what the others say first. Let's see what Shadowheart got to say. 
Um, we've come this far together and we'll continue on together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart. Imagine this dude just randomly starts wandering off and one day he just dies. And your game ends because he blew up near you. <laughs> that would be so funny. I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Honestly, I'm not. His story was quite interesting. Still breathing. Grandpa, Grandpa fucked the goddess and it wasn't enough for him. He wanted power. More power than the god himself. Jesus. Godusi not enough for Gale, apparently. Oh, who this? Wait, dead people. What is the creature doing to those corpses? Huh. Can I talk to him? Very well. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse thick. at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Oh. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwegar, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. Oh, he got the, the necklace of the absolute. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Okay. Dwergar invaders? We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. So this is why I like this game. When your random characters you got in your party just got out a just random ass line because that's how they were made. See, this this is why I actually like this game. It's just they got a lot of talk to do. Okay, they're just not. You're a random average NPC that got nothing to say, or they permanently say the same thing. Hmm. Sure. Sure, I can handle the Dwergar. A Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Oh. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The sovereign gifts you okay. vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Um. Okay, fun fact, um, when I first was here, I did do what this guy wants me to do, but I never actually spoke to dude over here, so I never knew that he would, well, tell me to do them and allow me to cleanse the rot, which was those uh, vine gates you saw. They're quite close as well. Um, what did these do a guards attack? Purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by. God, the game looks so good now that I got decent colors, bro. <laughs> it is a guest. Okay. You harbor a fugitive? Admirable. The sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Okay, uh, let's talk about those uh, spores. 
interesting. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. Fucking agreed on that one. <laughs> hmm. These boards hold such power. How, how might I gain this knowledge? You may not. The spores here only the circle. They what if I join the circle? Is that possible? Ah, I see. Oh, the, the gnome. There we go. Tula. Don't. Yeah. Save failed. I'm gonna assume it's because of the medicine that she may need. Is she poisoned? I don't recall. Um. What's wrong with you? Poison. That may mean fish. I'm sorry. I'm not French. <laughs> My French got a bad. Is it poison or is it poisson? I don't recall. I know one's poison, one's fish. Let me know which one's which, though. Hmm. Medicine's 15. Give her an antitox. Can I? Do I have that? Elixir of Poison Resistance. Will that help? Does that cure? Let's try four. Okay. Just straight up. Ah, gods. Whatever that is, I needed it. Cool. Why are you helping me? It's always useful to be out of favor. I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh. It hurts. Girls, okay. oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Might have to talk to Shadowheart real quick. Okay. You're in no condition to help anybody. Maybe not. But you are. I need you to rescue my kin. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Okay. Hmm. Let's go for two. Some dusty temple. It doesn't matter. They'll work my plan to death before they ever get near it. What was this expedition your clan were on? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. Mm-hmm. Briefest hesitation, but enough. I bet it's related to the night song. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while, I swear. Because I'm pretty sure, like, the Night Song is the only thing of value people know it's here. Uh, aside from the Adamantine Forge, that is. You're lying. It's very much obvious that you're lying. I don't think I'm gonna pull off the, the 15 DC, though. Let's see. Yep. <sighs> Alright. Uh, let's roll again. We do have 11 inspiration. Hopefully one's enough. Please. Let's go. Fine. It's complicated. But my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? Explain. Look, you've done me a good turn, and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell, I swear it. If you need to go your own way, I respect that, but still, I'm asking. Bitch spit! <laughs> ah, she doesn't wanna. Sure, I'll save him. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here... 
I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? All right. I got a haste haste sport grenade. A what now? Oh, we got boots of speed. Yeah, we can't use these. Wait, I can give this to Shadowheart, actually. Where is... There we go. Alright, what do you have? Uh, when you cast a spell that requires concentration, you get momentum. You can't be knocked prone. Yeah. I can't actually switch this. But, outside of combat, that is really good. Uh, is it once per short rest? You know what, I'm gonna keep them on Shadowheart, because I do recall Kremiel being able to just kind of teleport. Uh, per turn. Alright, so I, I kind of just... Yeah, okay. Don't I have Misty Steps or something on Kremiel? I don't recall. No, but I do have Shadow Meld, and we don't technically care about anything else. I can't do it one time and that's more than enough or I could just you know um yeah no actually um no that's not gonna work actually I, I thought about something but that's not gonna work was thinking about passing the boots uh from Kremiel to Shadowheart and vice versa but that's not gonna work I mean it can work but one's gonna stay behind okay anyway we talked to Spore dude, we haste spore. What? Ah, right, give me speed. No? Confusion. Oh damn, minus 18 HP? Nah. Can I go down here? I can. Good. What does this haste do? Uh plus two armor class. A little bit move speed. Uh move speed doubled actually. Interesting. Where was the rot I gotta cleanse? Was it this? Let's talk to dude. Oh, I need to do it with Gale. Hold up. Gale's got the the animal talk. Wants master back. He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, again, I do have an RTX 4070, but if you're wondering what my uh, my video settings are, with the reshade on, we, we are running uh, 144 hertz with uh, 1440p, and basically no DLSS, no FSR, and everything's basically up to max with uh, DLAA, DLAA <clears throat> anti-aliasing. And everything aside from slow HDD mode is on. So, yeah. That's for the people wondering what my settings are. Um, and uh, how they are affecting my frames on a 4070 with the reshade on. Again, the reshade is right here. This is everything I got running. Just a quick little extra for this video. Alright, we need to get rid of this. How do I get rid of this? Because it's not showing me and uh, I don't recall. Let me just shoot. Okay. Um. Let's see. Does Firebolt work? Technically it should flame everything here, but... Apparently not. Alright, how do I do this? Do I got anything that can cleanse other than Shadow Heart spells? Can't give up now. I got Scroll of Prayer. I don't know if this is gonna work on Kremiel, considering she undead. I don't think it will actually. We got Gerald Poison, Diluted Oil. We don't care about that. Oh, we do have Misty Step here. Okay! Okay, so once per short rest, but I'll send this to Shadowheart. 
She doesn't have a necklace. So I technically don't need to give her boots of speed. But it's fine. I knew I had Misty Step somewhere. Uh, we're, we're gonna need that later. So I'm gonna keep both of those. But again, how do I open this? Okay, we're gonna talk to that one a little bit later, but first, let's try to figure out how to open this. Because, cause dude, when we talked to him, told us to, well, get the items that are behind there. Do I, add, do I have anything that actually cleanses the, the shit? Um... I'm searching for something that I can use that's not, well, a spell. I don't want to waste a spell slot, if possible. What is this? Oh, random effects, we don't care about that. Revify, Scorching, Shatter, Sleep, Speak with Dead. Summon Quasit. I think this guy is gonna, well, go away when I rest. When I, when I long rest, that is. Oh shit, we need Valkrana's negative energy field. This one heals on there. Wait, when an undead ally enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it heals 1 to 12 hit points, adds 1 to 12 necrotic damage to its attacks, gains turn immunity, and has increased move speed. A living enemy will instead suffer 1 to 12 necrotic damage. Oh my god, we need Valkrana's negative energy field for Shadowheart. Please tell me I can get that next. We find a way we found a way to finally heal our people. Or undead people rather. Kremiel and uh Gale. But that said it's gonna the It's literally gonna do damage to everybody else in our party. So we need this for Shadowheart and these two specifically. Okay. Either that or I just make everybody an undead. And remove everything else other than the level 4 necromancy spell. So I'm thinking this one is, since it's level 4, uh, the next time I get a... Well, a level up for the spells, I'm assuming it's next level. I'm assuming next level I get a level 4 spell slot. So, yeah. We use that. That's kind of nice, actually. All's well that ends. Okay. Not as bad as it could have. Um, here's that book of necromancy, which I may try to open again at some point. Maybe next episode, maybe we do next episode about opening the book, we'll see. Do I really got nothing to remove this thing? It's so annoying. I don't think I got anything on me that can actually remove that other than maybe a spell, but... At the same time, I don't even know if uh, the cure thing will work. Where's it at? Continual flame? Nah, doubt. The ceremony work? Bless water, coming of age, or dedication. I don't exactly know what this does. If y'all know what ceremony does, do let me know. I am very confused about this spell. I don't. I literally don't know what it does because it doesn't tell me. I don't know what Blast Water, Coming of Age, or Dedication means, because the game literally doesn't tell me. I don't know if that's a modded spell or not. But yeah, again, if y'all know, do let me know. Because I am confused as hell about that one. Beacon of Hope. Um, water Walk, useless. Do I got anything that can remove that? I got lesser restoration, but that's not for... Well, that. I don't think I have anything, actually. Yeah, I think I got nothing currently that can get rid of that wall. 
Um. Ooh, this. I think I may actually use Calm Emotion a little bit later. I do recall a space. Uh, a place, rather, specifically in Underdark where people just get enraged and shit on you. It's where we are headed. Hello? Tongue talker. <laughs> sure. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Um. Uh, sure, we're we're going with the, the old breaker. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Ah. Brega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse. You mean to join me? Wait, am I getting sovereign glute as my party member? Bro. Very well. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? Am I getting this guy as a party member? Is that even possible? The rot together. I was not aware. Oh my god, he actually jo Bro! <laughs> I was not aware you can have this guy with you. Uh, last time I spoke to him, uh, he didn't like my choice of words and literally decided not to talk to me ever again. I was not aware you can have this guy as a party member. Holy okay. All right, can glute over here open this? Let's see. He got animating spores, multi attack. Oh my god, bro, bro doing four hits. Jesus. Yo, this guy actually kind of trying to smack people with these feasts. His normal fist does two hits too. Jesus. Okay. Well, I was not aware Glute will join us. He a level 4, but he's, he's got fucking level 5 HP. Nice. Ooh, Black Horror. Uh, Hook Horror, rather. Alright. Yeah. Yo, I just realized Kremiel just had a line of her own. I don't- you don't normally see that all that often. Your actual character talking. Like, just actual real talk. Because normally your main character is, well, not speaking. Uh, let's go back. We did want to talk to the gnome. If I recall, there was a... was this a dwarf or a gnome that was choking and maybe her husband. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf, Damn, imagine I spent like 20 hours in Underdark last time, and I still haven't discovered everything. Jesus. This game, bro. Ugh, this game. Um, can you describe him? Gold, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. Um, was he the one choking? <laughs> right now. Waiting for that idiot Balin's return. Less you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. Alright. Haven't seen him. Never mind. Uh, need some help finding him, though? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to run. Bitch. To me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Who is he to you? My useless husband. 
Send him for an errand. Damn, Karen. Stop. If if your husband goes out for you, he's not all that useless. I'm just letting you know right now. You should probably keep him around. If he's the one doing the work and you're sitting at home. Okay? I'm just saying. Damn, this is pretty from this angle. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god. Bro. Yeah, you normally see this from this angle. Oh my god. Yeah, this, this game looks so pretty from... Well, angles you're not allowed to by default. They should maybe consider adding a patch for that. So you have decent camera controls in your default game. I love how they both started talking at the same time. And I was talking over them too. <laughs> Let's blow these Bieber bangs. Because I don't want to randomly die. So if I recall, dude was choking. And these Bieber bangs are... Well, poisonous. And they got spores, and guy was probably somewhere around here. Um, let's see. Take some bark from the sister tree. Masterwork weapon? I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah, okay, so he's down there. Yeah, Balon's down there somewhere. So we need, uh... We need sister bloom. Who? I heard something. Uh, is dude... Let's see, can I... On group? Well, yes and no. Will Kremiel follow? Thank God she does not. Alright. Will you take damage from... Well, these. Okay, can I... No, I can't. Actually... Uh, if I recall this, stupid ass plant is ruining magic users, first of all. Chill runs through you. Yeah. Magic. The fire that burns within is fading. Um try to cast a simple cantrip. Actually, let's not do that. No, I don't need my magic, actually. The magic in your fingers sparks, but your spells fail again and again. Consumed by the Sousa flower. Okay, so I was correct. It does remove your magic, basically. So Gale's gonna be useless. Doesn't sit well with me either. It's fine. Need I remind you, you're addressing a wizard. I know what's going on. It's happening to me as well. It's fine. We don't need to fight with the Sousa flower on us. Stop. So it does actually add a condition, it's anti-magic field, which is removing your magic, but what I'm trying to figure out right now is if this dude right here can, well, help the dwarf. Jesus, you fall down there, you die. Not ideal, not ideal. How do I go down there? I do not recall. Surely there's a way though. Okay, let's... Grab the Susser flower first. And... What exactly do I need to do? Take some bark from the Susser tree. Oh, so I don't need the Susser flower. Uh, whoops. Whoops. That's a severed arm. The fuck? What do you mean might be useful? Hello? Wait, what did I just press? Oh, that's P. Oh, it just opens up the inspiration thing. I was never aware of that. Why do I have a severed arm here? Throw. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Okay, so I thought maybe the Susser thing. Yeah, never mind. It doesn't work. Will you go away, though? I don't recall if these blow up or not, but... Who? Oh. 
Oh shit. A hook horror. Alright, so Gale can use the magic he's got because he's just just a smidge away from Chromiel. Alright. Now, since we don't technically use magic on Chromiel all the damn time, or rather, not at all, we can basically keep the Suster Flower onto her and put this condition, which is an anti-magic field, onto others so they can't do magic. Which is kind of cool now that you think about it. Okay, will you be able to hit from over here? Is the question. Seems like... Seems like he's able to, kinda. Let's try. Boom! Arde! Which is actually a word in my language, by the way. In Romanian. Arde means literally flaming. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just a fun fact. Okay, I kinda need to get Shadow Heart away from here. I'm just gonna throw some flames because, well, these... Everything in the Underdark are... Kinda weak to fire. Yeah, they got no resistance. Rather. Alright, um, I will not move all the way over there. I will shoot you instead because that seems more sensible. I will let you come to me. Okay. You're gonna come to me next turn, and then I'ma bash your head in with the Doomhammer. Uh, I should probably make dude... To just... let's see. Releases spores at a corpse to animate it as a spore servant. Interesting. Could I have animated the hand? How far can I go, and how far can I jump? Damn, I was really hoping. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, you're gonna sit in front, you're gonna tank the hit for me. Reinforcements? Motherfucker, what? In case you were wondering, it's calling the rest of it back. You don't say. Thanks, Gail. Appreciate your input. Damn, he hits hard. Yeah, let's just kill them off one by one. Seems like the sensible thing to do. Alright, I feel like it's just really time Kremiel's it. Yeah, show us what you made of, girl. Boom! Another one! Doing the tenacity, I was really hoping you would kill it, actually. It's fine. We're gonna use good old glute to smash its head in. Never mind. Wait, what? Oh shit. It needs to be prone. What? At a prone target? Motherfucker only hits prone targets? What? Okay. Oh shit. Oh, it doesn't... Wait, it does... It does let it call reinforcements. Cringe. Alright, Gale, just do the thing. Alright, Gale doing the thing as per usual, but we seem to have some more company. Oh my god, there are three! And the dude! Who? Oh, it's dude up here. Oh my god, he's so far though. Why are you in combat from all the way over there? Jesus. Okay, I gotta deal with... Three of these bastards now. Thank god I killed the other one and I put glute up front so he can tank some damage. He needs to really tank some dips. Okay. I need the sword. Or uh not the sword, the, the spiritual weapon. Feels like I really need it. Like really, really need it. Let's put a let's put an axe. Alright. Okay. I just heard Chewie from Star Wars. Eek, eek, eek. No choice but to keep 
Good damage, good damage. Um, Here's my choice, though. Let's shoot that one. Uh, can you just shoot her? Shoot the damn bird. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to dash with with glute. Put him up front. Tank the dips. The dips in my HP. Wait, can I animate this? It doesn't say it needs to be humanoid. Or human or anything. It just says it needs to be dead. Can I animate that one? I should have tried. It's fine. Motherfucker going straight for Shadowheart. Holy. I had the spiritual weapon there. I just ignored it. Oh my god, what? Bro. Bro. Sorry, what now? Yo. This dude has range. Alright, will you get away from Shadowheart, please? Uh, it's gonna be a little bit annoying. Okay, I need to hit them both without hitting Shadowheart. Yeah, this is gonna be pain. I don't think I can do that. It, it's either I hit Shadowheart or I hit Karamio or I hit them both. Is this good enough? Actually, let's use Melf's Acid Arrow. Should help. They don't have uh, resistance to anything. And it should probably hit them both. If I do this, it's gonna affect Shadow Heart. She's gonna sit in the acid, which is gonna reduce her armor, which is really bad. Okay, did the other one not get hit at all by the acid? Talk to me. All right, what do we do here? Um. Okay, I think... No, I can't. I can't level 3. What? Why do I not have a level 3 spell? What did I do with my other one? Confusion. I don't recall what I did with the, the level 3. Uh, cringe. Man, I wish I could move Shadow Heart. I'm gonna have to use resistance. Because this dude's gonna hit me like a truck. Also, I gotta heal. Yeah. Alright, I need I need Kremiel to start hitting, but at the same time I kinda need to, to kinda hit him hard. What if I mark of the fall on here? Not enough movement, motherfucker, what? I just need to jump. What do you mean not enough movement? Cringe. Anyway. Bitch. Okay, do we backbreaker this one? You know what? I think I will. Nice. Hey. Man, what the f Bro. Bro, these hook birds. Jesus. Alright, so you just wake up out of prone and start hitting that's so cringe okay you stay on glute i need shadow heart to uh, well help gail out somehow i don't know how that's gonna happen but sure ay 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 i'm gonna have to disengage with gail or dimension travel hopefully that works decent damage i do have resistance Unfortunately, I used my bonus, so I can't actually hit. Okay, if I dimension travel, he's not gonna follow, is he? I'm gonna have to go all the way to the back. Okay, if he does follow Gale, then he should technically be unable to hit Gale, because I'm really far. I'm hoping he can't just randomly follow me all the way over here. If he does follow, though, he's gonna be out of combat. But I'm gonna have to put Kremiol on him somehow. I don't think I can though. He's really far. And I can't Shadow Melt because I don't have spell slots. 
It's about time I put uh, I put my team in a camp soon, but I need to start doing stuff with the others before I do that. Um, sure. Let's arrow of acid. Forty-five. Okay, I'll, I'll try anyway. Damn it, man. It's fine. He's in acid. It's good. It's good. Unfortunately, so is Shadowheart. That's really bad, actually. Oh my god, I just fucked myself. It's fine. Why are you unable to go there? Oh my god. Okay. I think I just killed Shadowheart accidentally. Oh, never mind. It's chosen. It chose to follow Gale. Please don't be able to actually hit Gale, though. Never mind, Gale did. Rip, Gale. Okay, this dude has multi clones or something. Illusions. Mirror image. Okay. Nine turns of mirror image. Oh boy. If I recall, mirror image is for, well, basically tanking three hits. I need to save Gale somehow. I'm hoping this damn bird just goes off of Gale. But I don't think it will, so I'm gonna just switch to this target instead and try to kill it. Oh my god. We got duty incoming too. I think I need glued, but. Uh, I really do need the sovereign, dude. Please wake up, dude. Come on, you got a job to do. You said you would help. Okay, I need Kremiel on the mage. Where the mage at? He's over there. Unfortunately, I can't dash all the way over there. I need to glute on this fella. Yeah, no. Nah. Can I dash with glute to the mage? Not really. Alright, I'm gonna do this, actually. Uh, okay, I was... Oh, there we go. I was really hoping it would allow me to do that. Thank God it did. Unfortunately, I am in acid with glute. So he may die. It's fine, though. Hopefully we can revive good old glute. Okay, he is not hitting Gale. These birds are a problem, bro. Holy shit. I'm sorry, what now? Hypnotized? Fucking... This mage is... Actual pain. I'm gonna have to Searing Smite this, hopefully. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's gonna break concentration too. We can't do that. We can't do that. Man. This is painful. Okay, I will try this. Oh, let's go, baby! Okay, I got a hook bird. <laughs> Thank God that works. Alright, good old sovereign Glut. As long as Glut doesn't die, we should technically maybe have another one? I don't know, I'll, I'll need to check. Jesus, bro, how many spells you got? Okay, Glut's about to get shit on. Okay, thank God for that. So, we can pounce, we can multi-attack, we can hook. I'm a multi-attack this... No, it needs to be prone. That is cringe. You know what, I'm not gonna try to prone. How do you... Never mind, okay, let's try to put him prone. I was hoping that would actually... Well... Just... Put Kremiel back on her feet. 
since she was in range. Anyway, that doesn't seem to work. It's fine though. Good. I keep forgetting to use heals, but it's fine. Um, let's see now. I'm gonna have to jump this dude. I don't really have much of a choice. I need to be on top of him like that. Now, hitting him will not really do much for right now. I feel like just Mark of the Fallen, actually. And then we hit him. Unfortunately, it missed. Oh, Shadowheart got destroyed. Glute got put prone again. Damn it, man. Hey, let's go. See, this is why I put Kremiel on top of him. So he can't use spells because of the, the Susser Flower. And, uh... Not only that... There we go. You are prone. I don't think you're gonna sit prone for too long, though. Okay. I, I know I can't control down. Why is Gale sitting on... Oh, Gale woke up. Oh, it's because he's out of combat. Nice. Elminster's not around, so might as well. Okay, can I... Do I have any heals? Let's see, do I got any sort of heals on Gale? The reason I'm wondering is because I could throw a potion onto Shadowheart and wake her up. I need to split my heals again. So this is one of those times where I could really, really use a heal on Gale right now. <laughs> ah, unfortunate situation. It's fine. I'll just blast the damn bird. Get him. 49. And... How much? 32. Okay. Okay, luckily Shadowheart is not dead yet. So I still got the spiritual weapon. I'm assuming when Shadowheart dies, my spiritual weapon goes to shit as well. So, could I wake Shadowheart up with Kremiel somehow? I don't think I can, actually. Unless I just run over there, but then I let this dude... Ah, cringe. Alright, I'm gonna mess up your... ...stuff. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this dude's gonna join combat. Because he can. Can you wake up Shadowheart? Well, apparently not. Yeah, this is really bad, actually. It's fine. Damn, Glute, you're so weak by yourself. I thought he could wake up Shadowheart, but he can't. Oh my god, yeah, okay, he's dead. Which means... Uh, nothing, actually. I still have the Hook Horror. That's nice. Let's see, I got Shaded Shield. I got Distracting Visage. Let's see if I use Distracting Visage for once. Will this work? No. <laughs> uh, it didn't work, actually. Okay, I made him bleed. Oh my god, okay, that's bad. Oh, that is real bad. Why are you there? Oh my god. Alright, I need to kill them off somehow. Like, at least one of them. I think I'm in range. No, I'm not. I could be in range to... Resurrect Shadowheart. Uh, I can maybe resurrect Sovereign Glute, but I'm not sure. I'll wait for Revify. Hopefully I am allowed to use it. Okay. Um... It provokes attack of opportunity because this motherfucker joined. I'm gonna have to try this one. It missed. Of course it missed. I'm gonna try again. Of 
course it missed again. It's 60% that it misses twice. Ah, <sighs> that is so sad. That is so sad. Are you fucking kidding me? How am I not in range to melee? I was in, in range to melee so far. Where the fuck you jumping? Oh my god. Okay. I need Kremiel to just pull a W for me somehow. This fight is hard, bro. Actually. Actually hard. Let's see, I got no more spell slots. For some reason, it's still active. Can I maybe use a level 2? I can. It's a 55, but I'll try. Damn it, man. Come on. Okay, it's a normal one hits, of course. Of course it does. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, can I do this? Imagine it actually works and Gale pulls off a W. Let me hit doubt button, but I'll try. Yo, did I actually kill off one? <laughs> I did. Oh, Gail. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's busted, bro. Actually kind of busted. Actually kind of busted. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try. Unfortunately, I can't really do much now. But I still got that other hook horror, so what I'll try is to move a little bit, you know, out of range of this stupid ass pounce ability, which has too much range, if you ask me. I think I'll try to sit in between with the spiritual weapon. I need to somehow save Shadowheart before she dies. Okay, I need the Shade Shield. I need the Shade Shield. I don't think I got it. Oh my god, brother! Stop! Well... Okay. I need the Rev Shadow Heart. Is this an action? It's an action. I need the Rev Shadow Heart. Uh, like this. I need to put her... Well, out of combat for now. I need to get the fuck away from this dude. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's see. I am going as a fucking sister flower. I'm going all the, all the way over here with Gale. Alright, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of ranged combat with this other dude. Hopefully this dude doesn't focus Gale. Because I am really far away with Gale now. Um, I do actually think Kremiel should be up here still. So this dude can't focus Gale with ranged attacks. He needs to melee or run. Okay, he used shield. I got no more spell slots, by the way. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy just shoved Kremiel, which is high strength, high dex. And this dude is mage, so he's low dex, low strength compared to Kremiel. The fuck you push me with? Magic? Yeah, that's bullshit. I'm sorry. But that was actual bullshit. That should have not worked. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna fuck him up. Hold up. You know I'm gonna fuck him up because I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna push him off. How are you not dead, mother trucker? What the fuck? Okay, I need I need heals bad. Uh, okay, where is items? I need like a big heal potion. Do I even have one of those? I have three left. I need one. All right, please die. Oh my god. Just fucking die, dude. These birds are so annoying. They're so damn hard to kill off. Jesus Christ. Bear in mind, Gale is much higher intelligence. And he has height advantage and he still got hit. 
That's crazy. The fact that I can't teleport either is cringe as hell. Because I can't go to heal Gale. Okay. Please? Fucking go. Let's fucking go. I need to deal with this dude. And just kind of get Gale out of combat somehow. Uh, this dude just went onto the Suster Flower, by the way. So he... No, never mind. He's not in range, apparently. I can't... I can't! I'ma just hit the bird. I can't get in range. Is this damn bird, uh... Not friendly because... Glute did? I'm confused a little bit. Motherfucker, bro. Oh my god. What can be considered truly painful... Now would be unimaginable to you before. Pain has become a part of your existence. Seamlessly... Did I just die? In the background? I think it did. Seamlessly woven into your daily life like a lover, it visits often and brings a strange form of nourishment ready for remodeled frame maturation. What? Oh my god. Wait, Shadowheart died? Oh my god, I am... Yeah, I hard lost this fight. Well, uh, this episode ended poorly. I can't really do anything here. My entire party just... Wait, hold up, what? I died, I am out of combat, I am undead, I revived full HP. <laughs> oh, I broke the game. I just broke the game, bro. I just broke the I just broke the fucking game, literally. Accidentally, literally bro broke the game. What? <laughs> Wait. I am full HP because when my party died, I am unkillable. I just realized when your party dies, you are put out of combat phase. And when you are out of combat, when you've well won combat. Your party revives full HP. And I am out of combat, and since my party revives... I am now full HP. Oh my god! I am a genius with that fucking Valkrana corpse... Uh, uh, what's it called? Val Valkrana uh, import undeath. Accidental genius play. Oh my god! Okay, this is gonna fully affect the entire playthrough of the game. Hold up. Hold the phone, we just found something amazing. I, I can technically never die now. You know that, right? I, technically, I can never die with this party specifically. That's bullshit strong. Holy. <laughs> oh, whoops. That, my bad. That one's friendly. My bad. My bad. My bad. Thank God I missed. My bad, though. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I was just about to end the episode, but at this point, I might as well continue. You know what's gonna happen here, no? Off the cliff with you, motherfucker. Get away. Okay, never mind, he's prone though. No, he's not, never mind. Jesus, Gale. How are you still kinda useless in a way? Okay, never mind, you tanked the hit. A full hit. That's not useless, that's actually useful. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that actually worked. I got some spell slots too. Does this count as a short rest? I got some spell slots. This is kinda like a short rest. I'm gonna try to, move, to push him off. Nah, it's too heavy. Shit. I have no concentration, so I'm gonna use a C... Ah, oh, blinding? Can I do the blinding? I can't. Damn it, man! I will shield the fate myself. I, I will shield the fate myself. On Shadowheart. That is. Alright. This fella needs to drop dead. And fast. 
I need to fast run all the way over there with Kremiel. God, I can't believe that actually worked that way, bro. That is that is so busted. You have no idea. Uh, Shadow Heart is in the way now. I just realized. That is uh, cringe as all hell. Uh, you know what? Let's. Ooh, disadvantage. Target too close. Well, my bad. Let's fix that. Let's fix that real quick. Let me Ray of Frost this motherfucker so he is getting the reduced move speed so he can't, well, pounce all that far. Okay, he's failing in hitting Shadowheart. That is great news, actually. I need double hit on Shadowheart. Alright. Can you jump all the way there? You can. Nice. Can I push you? No, it's a bonus action. Never mind. Well, let me smack. And smack. Alright. Let me chill your ass. Make sure you can't do shit. Uh, never mind. He's bone chilled, by the way. How? What has added the bone chilled condition onto hook horror? Confusion. Have I bone chilled the thing? With Doomhammer? Yes. Actually, it has Edge of Terror. I forgot about this. Each strike fills it the target with a chilling dread, so I got Bone Chill on the passive of the weapon, which means even if I miss, I still do uh, 3 bludgeoning because of the tenacity, because it's in main hand, which means I added the Bone Chill passive, so my targets can't heal. Huh. Who knew? I should have read more, I guess. Anyway, I have red now. How far can you jump? Okay, not that far. But did, this motherfucker did put Kremiel prone. And has kind of destroyed my HP. Not ideal. I need to get the fuck away from this. Otherwise, I, I may just find myself off the cliff. Or off the edge, rather. That's not a cliff. Uh, we'll... Jumping here... Make me take damage. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Gale can't attack now. I, for some reason, can't attack even though I'm right here. But I am at disadvantage in... Bro, this is cringe. <laughs> it's crazy how cringe that is, actually. Alright, Gale. Teleport backwards. And we're doing this. Please do enough damage. Let's go, baby! Shadow Heart leveled up? How? Why is Shadow Heart the only one to level up here? Also, damn, that's crazy. We actually won that fight. <laughs> I can't believe I actually won that, bro. Oh my god. Okay, well. Um, I just heard something. Uh, I, I need to end the video, like, right now. I'll, I'll see you guys later.